it's time for a snack attack. This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. It's time for a snack attack. Hubba Bubba Squeeze Pop. A sweet journey. Introduction and early success. The 1990s. In the late 1990s, the Hubba Bubba brand, known for its bubble gum products, introduced a new and innovative treat called the Hubba Bubba Squeeze Pop. This confectionery delight was essentially a liquid candy packaged in a squeezable tube, offering a unique and playful way to enjoy sweet flavours on the go. The product quickly gained popularity among children and teenagers, capitalising on its convenient packaging, vibrant colours and delicious fruity flavours. It became a hit in school cafeterias, convenience stores and candy ales across the country. With its catchy name and fun concept, the Hubba Bubba Squeeze Pop seemed poised for long-term success. Successes and expansion, late 1990s to early 2000s. As demand for the Hubba Bubba Squeeze Pop soared, the brand expanded its flavor offerings and marketing efforts. New flavors such as strawberry, blue raspberry, and watermelon were introduced to cater to diverse taste preferences, eye-catching advertisements featuring animated characters and catchy jingles further boosted the product's appeal, making it a staple in the candy market. The convenience of the squeeze pop made it a favourite choice for kids' lunchboxes, birthday parties and weekend treats. Its popularity extended beyond the United States, with distribution expanding to international markets, further solidifying its position as a global candy sensation. Challenges and decline. Mid-2000s. Despite its initial success, the Hubba Bubba Squeeze Pop faced challenges as it entered the mid-2000s. Changing consumer preferences, increased competition, and concerns about sugary snacks began to impact sales. Health-conscious parents grew wary of giving their children sugary treats, leading to a decline in demand for traditional candy products like the Squeeze Pop. Additionally, Advancements in technology and entertainment shifted children's interests away from traditional candies towards digital entertainment and healthier snack options. The rise of smartphones, video games and streaming services provided new forms of entertainment that competed for children's attention and discretionary spending. Furthermore, the novelty of the squeeze pop began to wane as consumers sought out more sophisticated and experiential snacks. Brands began experimenting with new textures, flavours and packaging formats to capture consumers' interest, leaving traditional products like the Squeeze Pop struggling to keep up with evolving trends. Discontinuation and legacy Despite efforts to revitalise the brand through marketing campaigns and product innovations, the Hubba Bubba Squeeze Pop ultimately faced its demise. In a year, the parent company made the difficult decision to discontinue the product due to declining sales and shifting consumer preferences. While the Hubba Bubba Squeeze Pop may no longer be available on store shelves, its legacy lives on in the memories of those who enjoyed its fruity flavours and playful packaging. It remains a nostalgic symbol of childhood for many, serving as a reminder of simpler times when a squeeze of sweet candy brought joy and delight to children's faces. Though the Hubba Bubba Squeeze Pop may have had its successes and failures, its impact on the candy industry and the hearts of consumers cannot be denied. As tastes and trends continue to evolve, it serves as a reminder of the ever-changing nature of the consumer goods landscape and the importance of innovation and adaptation in staying relevant in an increasingly competitive market. This has been a Rogue Media Network production. Yeah!